now that that's finally ready and good to go, I'm, I'm sure you can see at the top the, the toolbar that everyone here is, is familiar with. You can see there's a fancy new button there on the toolbar with the mic, and that's how we're going to open up Accurate Scribe powered by Tamlin. That's that button there. Now, the first thing that we're going to do before we get started is just search for the patient that we want to be able to communicate with, and that's Julie. So we're going to get Julie open up here in the email. Now we're going to go straight into the scribe. And here we go. Now I'm going to be Tom. Um, so lovely to meet you here today, Julie. Um, before we start, I just want to let you know that I'm using a tool here today called an Ambient Scribe to help write up your consultation into it into our notes deck. Now it listens to what's said during our consultation and helps me generate notes a bit more, a bit more accurately, a bit more efficiently. So I can focus more on you and not something I think what we talk. Is that all right with you today? Yeah, that's fine. Great. So I'm just going to go ahead and click start. All right. So, so Julie, what, what brought you in today? I've got a really sore throat, doctor, and I just really think I need some antibiotics. Okay, I'm really sorry to hear that. How long has that been, been going on for? It's been about three days now. I just can't shift it. Okay. And, and have you noticed you've got a temperature with that at all? I felt hot, but I kind of haven't, I think I don't need to measure it at home. So. All right, so you're not taking your temperature at home? No. And have you noticed any other symptoms with that? Cough, a runny nose, a blocked nose? It did start with a bit of a runny nose, headache, just flipping a bit off, and then the sore throat came three days ago, and it's just really boring. Okay. And are you managing to eat or drink okay? No, I need to be drinking okay. It's, it's just a bit sore and swallowing, but otherwise fine. Sure. And have you had any previous problems with your, your throat tonsillitis, for example? That's why I'm worried. I, I had tonsillitis about six months ago. I just had it once, but I needed antibiotics for that. So I just thought maybe I should come in and see if I need some again. Sure, sure. And do you know if you've got any allergies to antibiotics at all? No allergies at all. Okay. Right. Have you got any other long-term health conditions that you should know about? Yes. Right. Okay. So let's just take a quick look and uh, make sure we'll be examining you. So, so okay, your, your throat's looking a bit red and a bit swollen, but I don't see any pus or white spots. Your tonsils are slightly enlarged. Um, I can just feel, have a feel of your neck. Okay, there's some mild tenderness in the glands there, but there's nothing too severe. While you're here, I'm just going to take a few observations, um, you know, just a few measurements. So your blood pressure today is 120 over 70, your heart rate is 64, your temperature is there to 70.1. I can see that we don't have a recent height or weight on the record for you, so we're just going to take a couple of those measurements today. You see your height is 1.6 meters and your weight today is 70 kilograms. Okay, all right, Julie, so, so based on our, our examination today and based on our assessment, it looks like you might have something a viral sore throat rather than a bacterial one. That's actually the most common cause of sore throat that we see, especially when there's a blocked nose or a marble cough that goes alongside it. Um, so this should get a, get better on its own, if that makes sense. Okay, so you don't think I need the antibiotics then? You know, um, sore throat obviously really, really knock you down. In this particular instance, antibiotics aren't really going to help that much. They didn't really help with bacterial sore throat, so we have to got a viral sore throat here. Um, and the bad thing with antibiotics sometimes it can give you side effects, like diarrhea and rash. That said, we can give you a delayed prescription in, in case things don't get better in the next few days. Okay, that sounds good. Okay. Yeah. So what that means is, you know, I'm going to send the prescription to the pharmacy, but I'd like you to only use that if like, things actually get a bit worse. Okay. All right. In the meantime, regular paracetamol, ibuprofen, lots of fluid, lots of rest. Um, most of these viral sore throats will settle within five to seven days. If things don't get better, and get in touch with us. All right. Okay. Thank All you right. So okay. Great. Thank you. So I'm just going to put that there. Yeah, so now uh, that is my fish. Um, so you've just introduced you to the Tandem solution. So obviously the Accurate Scribe powered by Tandem. As you can see, really simple interface that fishes run through. Just at the bottom here, you can switch your templates. So let's say there's different members of your practice. Um, we've got across the country from GPs, nurses, pharmacists, admin staff using this tool. You can add additional text if you want. Um, but let's just go straight ahead and finish and create note. Moment of truth. Now we're doing it live with multiple microphones, I have no idea what's going to happen here. But here we go. So here you've got the output of your notes. Um, so the first thing we should do is kind of just check through that everything's there that we discussed, that this is accurate, um, and that as a clinician we're happy with it. Um, so as you can see here, there's the sore throat for three days. Um, it's kind of run through all the symptoms that were discussed um, and important factors in the history, including that this due was like six months ago and documented that as medical history. We scroll down, it's got the full examination as well. Um, and just taking note of the measurements here, so this is really important as these will be coded across into the record. We're demoing units at the moment, but this is also available as a single one for any system or system in the room. Um, so 
Um, and then at the bottom, we've got the impression, the plan, um, and only things that are specifically discussed are documented here. So as I just said, uh, these you know, all the pieces that we spoke about uh, with no allergies. I'm just going to straight, go straight through and show you. Let's say you did notice something or you wanted to add something new. We can click this Add or Adjust button here. And then we can say, actually, um, can you change the sore throat from three days to 10 days? Can you add diabetes into past medical history? Can you add metformin, 500 milligrams twice a day to medications? And can you put the plan in bullet points? So then we send that through. Um, this is kind of saving time to kind of edit the note all at the same time. If you prefer to type, you can type directly into the box or speak. But here you can see it's updated um, to 10 days. And if we scroll down, you've got the diabetes, the metformin, then at the bottom in the plan, you've got those bullet points if that's how you prefer the formatting of the note to look. Just to quickly run through the three main outputs of um, microexplorin. Um, we've got the transcription itself, so if there's anything you want to go back to, you can go to that transcription. We've got the full note that we've gone through today, and this also goes to kind of complex problems, let's say often we have multiple problems, it's not as simple as a sore throat. And let's say we want to create some documents. One is the accurate message, so let's say we wanted to message something to the patient. Um, we've created these messaging in three fragments to be able to text a patient with important information um, and let's just say, not relevant for this, but we want to do an advice and guidance letter, we can create that for you to again go over to your records. We also do other things such as specialist referrals, urgent referrals, etc. And we found that the GPs that are using us across, I think it's about 30 ICBs now, this is a real time saver, particularly if anyone's nodding their head, so that's good. Um, <coughs> And then the final thing, or well, the kind of once we check the notes, we've done the downstream documents we want, um, we can go again and check into, let's say, EMIS or Julie Andrews, this is the patient we want to transfer to. We can go back into Tandem. Now we launched. Uh, we can go back into our consultation that we just did, and we can click Save to Record. We can check our patient, it's Julie Andrew, Adams, sorry. Um, and then click Save to Record. You can see that saving in that bottom corner there. Just the just the image sure. <laughs> <coughs> Save succeeded. So now if we go into that record, um, the record's been dated. So we'll just reload that. And there you go. Yeah. Some noises. <laughs> there we go. Um, and just to call out here the code name as well. So we know with the GPs, we're really focusing on both known LCT, coding, etc., and really focusing on what you need. Um, and then I think that's the kind of it. There's lots of other features. So we don't just do ambient listening. Um, some clinicians really like to speak directly into their templates, so it's just saying exactly what they want. And so we can also do that, and we can also do, by right, clicking F1, you can speak into your emails, etc. as well. So there's multiple functionality across the Apple Scribe. Um, yeah, thank you so much for watching, guys.